I'm TJ Savage and we're here at the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown and today we're going to talk a little bit about firepower in the 18th century, volley fire and, and rates of fire. All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about firepower in the 18th century. Now, by this time period in history, formations are not nearly as deep as they were in the 17th century. Part of that will be because of changes in technology, the flintlock firing mechanism, the use of the paper cartridge will allow a little bit quicker rate of fire, so that allows you to thin out the formations. However, you still had delay with your firepower, so what you had to do then is alternate fire along those linear formations of usually two to three ranks deep, typically firing by company. In uh, the Brit American Army, typically you fire by um, first company and fourth company firing together, and then the second and the, uh, and the fifth, and so on down the line. So you always had somebody loaded and ready to go. You had a reserve in case you were attacked. You could keep up continual pressure on the enemy with your firepower. So when they started to waver, then you could drive them from the field with the point of the bayonet. So those formations are critical for making that happen. The, the actual rate of fire that you can achieve is going to vary by situation. For instance, if you've got skirmishers who are taking cover and firing at will, they could conceivably get up to about five shots a minute. They're not going by the manual exercise or just loading and firing as quickly as they can acquire a target. If you're in a volley formation, however, it's really important that the men work together as a team to throw that fire and of course this allows the officers to maintain fire control. So volley fire is, is going to be the name of the game in the larger engagements. Now, the rain's uh, picking up a little bit so we're going to head out in the field and uh, put some powder through these weapons. Make ready! Take aim! Fire! Time and load! All right, at the conclusion of our uh, firing there, we got about four rounds off in about a minute 45 seconds. Now, if you imagine that huge linear formation with alternating fire by company along the line, there is continuous fire going on. Um, you are going to be slowed down somewhat by the slowest loading soldier in that particular formation because you typically want to fire together. But that will still allow for pretty much a continuous fire along that line and kind of mitigates those uh, slower loaders as well as any misfires you're going to have along the line. So um, it's, it's really about firepower. Hit them with everything you got and that organization and those linear formations made it happen. If you like what you've seen today, please subscribe to our channel and uh, make some comments for us. Thanks for being here with us.